Peter Goodwin has been chosen to become Tasmania's next Premier after a secret ballot. Andrea Crothers joins us live from Hobart. Andrea, what happens now? Well, Tom, there was meant to be a vote in just 10 minutes' time, but we've just heard that the State Growth Minister, Michael Ferguson, who was due to be in this two-way race against the Treasurer, Peter Gutwin, well, he's decided that he will not stand, meaning that Peter Gutwin, the Treasurer, will go ahead as Tasmania's 47th Premier uh, unopposed. Now, Michael Ferguson's statement reads, As I said last Thursday, my position, as always, is to do what is best for our party, the government, and most importantly, the Tasmanian people. Peter Gutwin and Jeremy Rockliffe have made significant contributions to Tasmania in their parliamentary careers and there'll be a strong and dependable leadership team. We respect them, we give our full support for him. So not only has he decided not to contest, as has his running mate, the Attorney General Elise Archer. So what this means is that Peter Gutwin, the Treasurer who was first elected back in 2002 at the same time that the outgoing Premier Will Hodgson was, he will now be the next Premier of Tasmania. Now he's had a fairly interesting political career. When he first got in he was made the shadow Treasurer but just one year in he had that and his other portfolios strip He had that and these other portfolios stripped from him almost immediately after he decided to cross the floor and vote with the Greens on a child abuse inquiry. He said that he's always been someone who's stood for what he firmly believes in. And today, well, it appears that he'll finally be in with those political ambitions to be the top job in the state of Tasmania, Tom. So, Andrea Crothers, he doesn't go in after a big election victory, premiership, but he also doesn't go in after some sort of crisis. Uh, is he uh, inheriting a pretty good situation here? Talk, talk to us about the sort of political landscape broadly in Tasmania. Well, it's a really interesting one at the moment. So he's looked after the state's books for the last six years. He's been very much seen as helping the state turn around. But we do know after the last budget was handed down that the state is looking at going into a significant amount of debt. They've also got a lot of issues at hand, that being the health crisis, the uh, housing crisis here in the state. But he's also seen as quite a dependable character. Now, the one thing that will be difficult for him is that whilst he's also popular, Will Hodgman was a very, very popular individual. His primary vote at the last election was actually the highest of any candidate in any uh, election in Tasmania's history. So as he goes out, he decided to leave mid-term. He says that it was partly for family, but also to help try and put the next leader in a good spot for the 2022 election. Now, with Peter Gutwin coming in, it actually is also the first Premier they've had from the north of the state in almost 40 years. One thing that was seen as being a particular issue or potential issue if he and Jeremy Rockliffe, his deputy, were to go in is the fact that both of them hail from the state's north. And Tasmania is a very parochial state. It's very much a north-south divide. And there was thought that there might be some issues with people not having someone down here from the south where Hobart is. But obviously the party has decided that's not an issue all deciding to back Peter Garwin. So he will have some difficulty following in the footsteps of Will Hodgman, but he, as I said, he's very well respected in his own right. All right, well, Andrea, we'll cross back to you. We'll let you get away and uh, talk to perhaps a few of the key participants. Where it all happens now, no doubt we'll hear a news conference this afternoon as well. Thank you.